Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Beely back again with another video. We're finally at the end of the countdown where Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Um, if you didn't see my Halloween Resurrection review, I noted that I um, recorded a review for Rob Zombie's Halloween uh, like a long time ago and I just added that video in the Halloween franchise playlist so if you haven't seen that please make sure to um, see that review this is right there in the playlist but to begin this review um, this movie was different this Halloween movie was different and this is one of those times where I felt like Rob Zombie, you knew better <laughs> when you uh, did this movie. I mean, it was okay, but it had that Curse of Michael Myers vibe to it. And you guys know how I did not like that one. And this kind of felt like a redo of that because in this movie, Rob Zombie's follows the the psychological um, half of Michael throughout this movie and you know this movie takes off um, it, it takes place like right after the um, the remake and he pretty much did what the original Halloween 2 did it picks up exactly where um, the original did and Rob Zombie did that here and the first act of the movie worked for me. The first act. Like, it picked up exactly where the first one left off at. Went to the hospital. That. After the hospital scene, the movie kind of took this big shift. And then, you're not confused, but at the same time, you're like, where is this movie going? Like what? What is Rob Zombie's purpose? And and that's the thing I didn't get through Ozzy. I didn't get his purpose. Now <clears throat> there are two versions of this film: theatrical version, um, which is you know straight to the point. Then it's the unrated version. The unrated version really goes deep into the relationship between Lori and Annie. Um, in the unrated version, you know, they're beefing throughout the whole movie. And you don't see that um, in the original cut. Well, unrated version is the original cut. But the <laughs> theatrical version, you know, you don't see that conflict. Whereas in the unrated version, you see that conflict. And Michael talks. <laughs> In the unrated version, um, at the very end, he says, DIE! As he's killing um, Dr. Loomis. Um, but the movie itself, like I said, it was okay. Aspects of the movie I, f I felt were too much, especially the, the psychological aspect of it. He, he tried to get deeper into like Michael's mind and that's something us uh, slasher viewers don't care about you know technically we come to just see brutal killings and trust me there were a lot of that in the film and there were a couple kills I felt was like unnecessary when I say unnecessary it was like unnecessarily gruesome like there was some kills that I felt like okay Michael they're dead. Why are you still going at it? But, hey. Um, Dr. Loomis. He wasn't even Dr. Loomis in the movie. He was just a douche author who um, wrote a book capitalizing off the events of the first Rob Zombie Halloween film. And, you know, he saw that he saw this as an opportunity to make another book, make money off of it. He's like famous and all this stuff. 
So he's pretty much a douche, like this whole movie, which is like, what is going on here? But, um, <clears throat> Lori, she's like a bad girl now. She's not the sweet, innocent Lori Strode we had in the first one. Um, you know, like I said, Annie, you know, she's back. She didn't die in the Rob Zombie's remake. Um, but she did die in this one. Sorry, spoiler alert. Movie came out in 09. <laughs> Hope you guys seen it. Um, yeah, and because in the unrated version, um, Lori and Annie's relationship is explored more. When Annie dies, you kind of feel... You kind of feel for Lori more because when she's laying over um, Annie's dead body, you know, Lori feels a lot of guilt. So you kind of like feel more sorry for her watching the unrated version than the theoretical version. The yeah, whatever. Hope I said it right. Um, but yeah, um, Michael, like I said, Michael was hardly Michael in this movie. Like, he wasn't, he was like a bum. Like, Michael had on, Michael had on his original attire, plus like a big old hoodie with the hood on. He had like his hood on the whole movie. There were some scenes where he had his mask off. He was just walking around. Like, I'm, I was just like, this isn't Halloween. You know, uh, like it was okay for what it was, but it wasn't your typical Halloween film. You know, thinking back to like Resurrection and The Curse of Michael Myers, it just wasn't your typical Halloween film. And I honestly think Rob Zombie could have did better with this. Uh, any other things I'm missing from this film? Um, the white horse aspect, like I said, the psychological, he could have left that out. Um, there's a lot of stuff in the movie Rob Zombie could have left out just to make it a simple sequel. Like, if you, like, I would have stuck with the, the hospital idea. Source material is there for a reason. But, hey, what do I know? I don't make films. I just had to report how I feel about them. But, hey, uh, I thank you guys for sticking out this countdown with me. Um, the next Halloween review you will see from me is Halloween 2018. You know, that's kind of funny, you know. Halloween 2018 is a sequel to the original Halloween. So it's like, you wanna watch Halloween? Which one? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Like, I don't know. Like, how are you gonna name a sequel to Halloween? Halloween. You wanna watch Halloween? Which one? The first one? The. The Rob Zombie remake or the 2018 sequel? <laughs> uh, that's funny to me. I know. It's probably not funny to y'all, but it's funny to me. Um, but yeah. I hope you guys like this review. Uh, you know, if you like my review, please like, subscribe, comment, share, whatever you guys feel. And as always, it's your boy B. Lee signing off.